Hey y'all, and thanks for joining me today for another Watch Cheryl Scrap video. I'm continuing with the Best of 30 Days of Sketches series. This is the top 30 sketches from the past nine series um, by Christie's Beautiful Life. And today, um, the sketch is by Susan Stringfellow from Sketch Savvy. So you can see here that instead of the one large photo, I have opted to go with um, two photos one uh, larger and then one kind of close up in set to the left. And um, then I'm going to use uh, word strips from this kit by Kristen Cronenberra at Sweet Shop. It's called Summer Essentials and it is just so cute. And I loved how the um, colors just were, they're just happy summer colors. So you can see me um, adding in the waves now, and I really love how that matched the water in the photo. Um, it, this is my daughter back when she was 15, um, back in 2012, and we were at um, Pensacola Beach, which is near to us, and uh, she's under the main pier there. Um, it was a great place to still have a lot of light, but um, had some shade, so there wasn't a lot of squinting, which was good. Um, I have brought in um, that fabulous flamingo. I couldn't help it. It was so cute. And I've picked a background paper to go underneath, and I like how it um, kind of separates the page. So there's the water underneath and the, uh, you know, sand and beach up at the top. And I've added some mixed media behind the photo. Um, I'm adding some ribbon. I thought I was going to use that twine, but I ended up like in the ombre ribbon instead. I'm adding in this little uh, rainbow with clouds right above the um, kind of like acrylic or um, acetate title at the beach. And uh, I like how that shows up. And now I've decided to place a uh, floral background paper and um, so that has a nice border. It just brings all the colors together. And then you'll see me um, pulling in some die cut florals and those will be placed in uh, three different areas. And then I'm going to continue adding um, some foliage and piece, it's the same piece of foliage that I just duplicate and use in three separate areas. And then I'll also add in some more um, dimensional um, uh, 3D kind of uh, florals instead of just the flat ones, the die cuts, they'll sit on top of those. And um, I did add in a couple of butterflies as well. That was a, a while back though. I let that, I must have been chatting about something else when uh, I pulled those in. Here's the final layout. Thanks for watching and joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.